hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk to you about evil um the series is coming back on paramount plus now evil series one it had 13 episodes it was on cbs now some people are upset because it's no longer on cbs it's on paramount plus and people are saying that they can't afford another streaming service but get this now I am not in affiliation with Paramount Plus. They're not paying me to say this, but I do want to share this with you guys. If you was to go with Paramount Plus to watch um, season two of Evil, they have a deal going on and it ends June 22nd. So you need to hop on it. The deal is you can order Paramount Plus for 99 cents for two months. Okay, after the second month, it's going to either go to 9.99 or $5.99, whichever plan you chooses. Okay, so $0.99 cent for two months. Guess what? That's perfect. You know why it's perfect? Because the last episode of Evil Season 2 is August 15th, 2021. So, boom, you don't watch the whole season for what? For what, $2? And then you can cancel. You don't have to pay for it anymore. I think it's a good deal for those who don't want to keep the service. I just signed up for it, okay? So, and as soon as it's over, wait, guess what? I'm going to cancel because I will, ha I will have no need for Paramount Plus after that. So, I just thought that was a good deal for you to follow through on. Now, Evil Series 1 was excellent. I did enjoy it. It was so good. And like I said before, um, Lala, my homegirl Lala put me on to it. And it was it was excellent. Now, let us give let me give you a background of Evil so you'll know what you're working with here if you decide to watch it. Okay, so it follows a skeptical psychologist named Christian Pichard. She joins David Acosta, who is a training to be a Catholic priest and a blue-collar um, contractor as they investigate the church backlog of unexplained mysteries, including supposed to be miracles, demonic possessions, and other extraordinary occurrences. Their job is to access if there's a logical explanation or if something truly supernatural is at work. Okay, examining the origins of evil along the dividing line between science and religion. And it's pretty good. So as a matter of fact, let me just talk to you about one of the episodes. I'm not going to get into all 13 because it's a lot. And I don't want to take up your time. But let's just talk about the first episode and how it opens up. Okay, so the first episode was called Genesis. Genesis 1. Um, Dr. Christian Pachar, a psych uh, psychologist primarily, primarily employed by the Queen's DA's office, learns that the defendant in her latest trial, Orson LaRue, is claiming to be demonically possessed in order to claim an insanity plea. When the prosecution refuses to let her conduct further tests and fires her, leaving her un unable to finish repaying her student loans, she accepts a job offer from David Acosta. Okay, now he's a professional assessor for the Catholic Church to determine whether or not LaRue's claims are true. Now, at first, Kristen is concerned that he may in fact be possessed as she begins receiving threatening visits from George, a demon who taunts her for concealing her sexual attraction towards David. All right. However, when LaRue reveals personal information that Kristen never told him, she discovers that her therapy file, therapy file was stolen by a man named Leland Townsend, who she deduces was responsible for convincing LaRue to act on his murderous impulse and has been coaching him to act possessed. David tells her that demons are often just an excuse for evil people like Townsend to justify their desires to make others suffer from sheer amusement. Okay, so Christian decides to join David's team permanently. Now, that episode was pretty good. That was a pretty good episode. And let me just give you one more, talk about one more, um, just to 
just to pull you in a little bit because I do think this series is really good and I understand people being upset about it moving to Paramount and paying extra but take advantage of that 99 cent a month for two months because by the time you finish the series you're done you could just cancel the, the membership Okay, so the second episode that I found that was really interesting as well is called 177 Minutes. Now, a girl named Naomi Clark is miraculously revived seconds after her autopsy begins. And David's team is assigned to determine if there was any divine intervention. Now, a review of security camera footage appears to show the image of a woman who died an hour before Naomi, which Ben suggests could be the result of digital manipulation. Now, the DA offers to reinstate Kristen on a two-year contract, which David agrees to match. However, when she goes to tell the DA, he informs her the offer has been rescinded and that Dr. Townsend has replaced her. Kristen's daughter, Laura, begins to see George in her dreams, terrifying her mother until she discovers while watching a scary film with Laura and her sisters that George is in fact a fictional character and is therefore not real. Now, based on the video, David determines that the hospital pronounced Naomi dead 30 minutes too early, exposing racist practices that he has Kristen report to a lawyer suing the hospital for malpractice. The image is left un unexplained and as the priest overseeing the team's work refuses to discuss it. Why are you always so quick to just leave things alone and don't discuss it? I don't understand. Now, later that night, David purchases hallucinogens, which he uses to receive visions from God. Uh, yeah, so... The, these episodes are really good. You got time to catch up because the new season starts Sunday, June 20th on Paramount+. Plus. All right. So I think you guys should watch it. Now, the first episode of season two. Okay. The first episode of season two is called N is for Night Terrors. Okay. N is for Night Terrors. And I see here they got a lot of, um, they have a lot of letters here for certain things. Like N is for Night Terrors, A is for the Avenging Angel, F is for Fire. So they doing it, you know, this is how they doing their, their titles this year, this, like, this season. So it was really, really good. It was, a, I really do enjoy this season, this series. So like I said, if you want to take part in, the promotion they got going on, I think it's a good thing. Um, if not, it's fine. You know, if not, it's, it's also fine as well. But this to me, I'm, I'm excited and I can't wait. I cannot wait. But just keep in mind that if you do purchase Paramount Plus, hey, August 15th is the last episode. You could 86 it, okay, after that. For two dollars, man, listen, <laughs> I jumped on that. You know why? Because I like the series and I want to see it. I need to see if it's going to be really good as the first one, so I could come and do my review every week. Because the first episode airs June twentieth, and then the next one after that, the twenty seventh. So, all right, you guys, have you any of you watched Evil season one? Let me know. It was um, how did you like it? Will you be watching Evil Season 2? If you know, if you do know, if you're going to be watching it, let me know in the comment section. I would love to discuss this um, this series with you as well as we go along every week. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. You have a good one.